when rugby was invented by pupils at rugby school in the early 19th century, a round ball was initially used. But by 1835, the oval ball had made an appearance, being easier to handle and hold against the chest. They were made by William Gilbert, a cobbler from the small English town of Rugby. He used inflated pig's bladders encased in leather. Nowadays, the shape of the ball is governed by strict guidelines. The lengths must be between 280 and 300 millimetres, circumference between 740 and 770 millimetres, diameter between 580 and 620 millimetres, and weight between 410 and 460 grams. The oval shape means the ball has an unpredictable trajectory, which players must learn to try to control with as much precision as possible. The ball should be thrown point first or upright so it spins on its axis. When the ball's kicked into the air, it always follows a curve, but the actual trajectory depends on a number of factors. Speed, momentum, direction, kick placement, wind strength and rotation. During drop kicks, penalties or conversions, the aim is to propel the ball between the two goalposts. But that's often easier said than done. Players need to have as uniform a style as possible to ensure all kicks are on target. <laughs>